you having a, uh, a, 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 a baker? <laughs> so yeah, I got you. Yeah, you're having your Jim Beam. Oh yeah, I'm having a little bit of oh extra. This here is the uh, generic one. Is Western Gold. They sell the uh, the latest is 11 pounds, and uh, I got the real Jim Beam there. But to be honest, I just keep it for like uh, kind of a special occasions. This yeah. here tastes just as good, you know. It's, uh, Western Gold. Where yeah, do you get where do you get that? In Wick. Yeah, right there, the uh, Lidl's near the uh, Argos and um, the PetSmart. Yeah? And, uh, well, it was 11 pounds, and it's, it's, I know bourbon, you know, I grew up with a moonshiner, and I know this guy, I can moonshine myself, I can, I can run a steel, and I can, uh, I can do the feeders, I can tell by the bubbles, <laughs> I know my drill, you know, and this here is just as a good bourbon as Jim Bean, you know, because a lot of times uh, whiskey's like close. You're paying for the uh, the brand. You're paying for paying for the name. With Scotch whiskey, I'll say it's different. If you drink the frog of that bottle, it ain't gonna be nothing like famous grass because you have so many different types yeah. of whiskey here. Well, in America, it's pretty much bourbon or or Jack Daniels, which is not bourbon. It's Tennessee whiskey, you know, running through the uh, maple charcoal. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my thing there. I so you know, you you got your spittoon as well. Yeah, I got me uh, this spittoon <laughs> here. And what you tell tell me what you do though? Why? <laughs> <laughs> show me, show me, show me the um, show me the the the, tobacco. The, the, the 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 yeah the chewing tobacco. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what we got here? Uh, where, oh, there he is. There's a can. I should well, I, I, sh I should say that we are not in Mississippi. That we are yeah. in the north of Scotland, and Mike. Yeah. Mike has moved here two years ago, uh, yeah. July tenth, two thousand and ten. Yeah, been here ever since. Yeah, this here, most foreign people they see me speaking around, they'll call this tuna maker. But as uh, any good old boy in the states would tell you, this here is deep. It's uh, you might notice here. This is my own invention. I like Swedish news, which is this one here, Thunder. Somebody might know this is the strongest Swedish snooze ever. Right. Swedish snooze, instead of putting on your lower lip like you do like this, you put yeah. on your upper lip and you don't spit. It's spit free. All right. And it's uh, supposed to be cancer free. Uh, it's good for work, you know. I don't want to be spitting around at work. So I get my Swedish snooze on. So I got here a can. So instead of carrying two cans around, I got a, I made like a, made of a DVD box. Uh, kind of a division here, so I got my snooze on one side and my American good old Southern dip. So you can show side. you can you can you show me like how you'd use that? Yeah, I can put a little, add a little bit more on here. Yeah, you just grab a little bit like this. I got more, so usually on YouTube there's a lot of dippers. Uh, people that yeah. use just making videos, they would, you know, call me names or seeing that little tiny one like this. But I already got some on. <laughs> so you you take this one. And you put on your lower lip, yeah. like this, and you just yeah. let it sit there and do its magic. You know, it just uh, releases the flavor. This here will be winter green. This here is actually stalkers. Uh, the stalkers are unusual because you get, you get like, uh, like right here, you got skull, which you told me earlier that you should sell here. I had no idea. Skull bandits. Skull bandits is the same, but I know the brand, by the way. So. It's the same as this was in little pouches, like tea bags. Oh yeah. So it doesn't get all over your mouth. I don't care about none of that fancy stuff. I just like the tobacco, the field of tobacco. Yeah. Uh, so they have Skull and Red Man. Uh, pretty doggone expensive right now. You can get the big old can of Stokers. We get a, a lot of can, actually, more like a bucket. You get a big old bucket here of Stokers. And this here goes for about, I think five bucks, five five dollars American, and uh, oh, it lasts me for a lifetime. You know, I get four of them because they don't sell them here in Scotland. All right. And, and this, uh, the, the, you go a uh, the spittoon is totally necessary. Oh, it is because uh, you know before I got this here thing, which is new, I got here not long ago, a few days ago, it arrived here. You bought uh, that in Wick? No, you can't get that around here at Elmish. <laughs> I got this off an antique store in the States on eBay, on eBay America. Oh yeah, and they sent it over. They sent it over, took took about a month and it got here. I got that one, that little tiny 
one, I know if you can see Oh, that. yeah, there yeah, oh, right over there. Which is funny. If you can look at this mess, I'll get it for you. This here, you came with a very famous dip called Copenhagen, which again highlights the Scandinavian origins of dip. Copenhagen is the name. It's very popular in the States. Yeah. Uh, U.S. smokeless tobacco. Uh, so I got me this here for the, you know, the when I'm in bed or something. But I also found out that it can be, look at this now, a perfect lid. Oh, if it, man. It's perfect. It just yeah. fits right in. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So when I ain't using it, but I usually clean it every day. I might be a redneck, but I'm pretty clean with my yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I got my deep and the chewing tobacco. I got me same brand. I don't know where it's at now, but I got a big bag of uh, of chewing, loose leaf chewing tobacco. All right, here. Well, this here is brand new. I got two more of those. Wow. This here is the extra chew. This here is apple flavored. I usually like the straight, no flavors on it. But this apple one is, is pretty good. You can smell it now. When it came in the box, you could smell it. And the same brand is a value. You know, it's, you buy a bunch of it and it lasts you a long time. So yeah. you've taken your Mississippi country boy traditions over to the north of Scotland. Yeah, sir. And how do you, I mean, seriously, do you think, how do you feel you're fitting in here? Well, uh, I think, I think I've been outside the south in the United States uh, in other different states, like uh, when I leave it out in Nevada. Yeah. And uh, I'm some, sometimes, uh, I might ponder, you might ponder, I, I, I'm better treated here than I would be outside the south, you know. Uh, people here, they don't have the uh, the pre notion that because you talk like I do and you do the things I do and you pick the banjo like you're leaving a stereotype out of a, some sort of comic book. Yeah. They don't treat you like you're stupid. They're generally interested in you and like the way you talk. Oh, right. So, like the redneck thing, you know, like the, 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 the dumb redneck thing, yeah. is they, they, you don't get that shit here. Uh, you do. Uh, you do get like uh, the image from the movies because I mean that can help they just seen in the movies but they usually they say just that they saying oh I only talk to people like you in the movies I only seen people that talk like you in the movies yeah and it's not usually when it's a Yankee they'll look at you sometimes and they talk down on you and the worst of all yeah. they they think you're not you don't know that they're talking you know looking down on you and talking to you like yeah, you're really right. dumb you know yeah yeah uh, while here they talk and they just really want to know. I have people here, many people actually. Uh, people back in the States sometimes, uh, I, I had like a hate mail on my YouTube from Yankee saying that uh, you're a disgrace for America and people like you would make us look bad. While it's funny, while I was in Inverness, uh, the majority of the American tourists were, were Yankees. People, Southerners don't get out here. I, I met probably the whole time I've been here, I met one or two. Uh, the majority of Americans I met were from up north, you know, people with money, they got money to travel around. You know, being from Mississippi, you, you better leave your county, you know, you don't have money to go to Scotland on vacation. And uh, they are, uh, uh, the Scots, a lot of the Scots found them pretty annoying, because, uh, and I can't blame them, uh, I was reading the other day that 35% of American tourists think that haggis is, is an actual animal. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's pretty stupid, and, and yet, you know, the Yankees, yeah. they'll talk to somebody like me and think I'm really stupid, but yet they do those things, you know, and make us look real bad out here, you know, <laughs> haggis is an animal, I mean, I mean, Google is just one step away from your uh, keyboard, you know, you can just look it up. You know, it's a dish, which, by the way, I enjoy it all the time. I lie, I love Aggies. Now, listen, I'm going to cut this here, and then I'm going to start again in a second. Okay, that was great. All right. Thanks. So that's like uh, signing out from Mississippi Feller, as you call yourself. There you go. Yeah. yeah, and we'll catch you out on part two with a song, with a, a tune. Um, I'll play Fireball, I'll think of something. Mate. I'll play Fireball. Something, something quick. Yeah. Yeah. So we can get a little quick, uh, yeah. Okay, signing out.